hello treasures welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great thanks for stopping by today's video i bring to you another banana recipe here i have overripe banana some overripe banana i have six overripe bananas here and we are making banana cake so i'll be using these overripe bananas you can use less you can use more i'm using up to six because i'm going to use two cups of all-purpose flour so i'll start by peeling this and uh, mashing it first or mashing them first let's get started After peeling the banana, we mash them. You can use fork, you can use spoon, anything you have around that you can use and mash the bananas. Use it. Very easy to mash. So, after mashing this, I'll set it aside. In another bowl, I'll add the egg. Using four eggs, one third teaspoon of salt, half cup of sugar. The bananas are well ripe, so there's no need adding too much sugar to it. But if you want, if you want more sugar than that, you can do so. I'll now mix it together. If you have any flavor you want to add, you can also add that. You can add your vanilla flavor, your vanilla essence. You can add your banana flavor. For making this cake i just realized i don't have any of the flavors i don't have vanilla yeah i don't have banana flavor so i'm going to use only nutmeg but i will add that in the dry ingredient so we are making it without those ones but the nutmeg is so enough flavor for it so I also add milk. I'm using half cup of milk. You can use your hand mixer, electric mixer. <laughs> Do you know I nearly forgot my oil? I'll add it vegetable oil. I'm using half cup also of vegetable oil. Try to incorporate it together. After mixing it very well, I'll add the mashed banana to it. You know, you can mix all these things, but because I wanted to whisk the eggs for some minutes, as I had to do it separate, don't be scared of washing dishes. <laughs> I know some people will not want to dirty so many plates because of washing. It does not really take much. Mm -hmm. Our wet ingredients is ready. We'll now bring the dry. So here I have two cups of all purpose flour which I've already sifted. And to it I'll be adding one spoon of baking soda and 
one spoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of nutmeg just mix together Now bring in our wheat ingredients. Mix together. So I'm done mixing it, it is now time to bake it. I'm not pour this into a baking pan. Here I have my baking pan, which I'm just going to add oil to it. all over if you have parchment pepper you can add to your pan but I don't have parchment pepper now so Take it to the oven and bake. Look at that, look at that, yummy. 